guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tricia. I wanted to share this alcohol ink art that I made. I've been dying to work with alcohol ink and I finally did it. This is my first experience and I want to show you how I did it in case you are thinking of doing the same thing. So keep watching. For this project, I'm going to be using a 11 by 14 frame from the Dollar Tree. So first I'm going to remove the contents from the frame. And this is gonna be a messy project. I'm thinking it's going to be a messy project, so I'm going to wear gloves. And I'm going to remove everything, put it to the side, and only use the glass for now. I've always been interested in alcohol ink, so today I'm going to try that out. I'm using the Jaggered alcohol ink. This is from the Pinata collection. So today I'm going to be using the Magenta Passion Purple and Blanco as well as some rich gold as well as this alcohol blending solution. All right so this video is really good for people who are beginners because I'm a beginner myself <laughs> and I am learning everything so what we can learn together right? So I'm gonna start by placing some of this alcohol blending solution on the glass just so I can help the alcohol ink shift around and create shapes that I want it to create. Next, I'm going to start using this uh, magenta. You wanna make sure you shake this up really good. Now I'm just going to drop it in different places. And then I'm going to drop a couple of the purple, I'm gonna drop it in the center. And then I'm just going to move it around. That's what it looks like so far. I wanna add a little bit of white What I'm gonna do is um, put some blending solution. I learned that in order for it to move around, you have to put a little bit more of the blending solution in there. So I'll put a little bit more of the magenta. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I decided to start blowing the alcohol ink around. I'm gonna shake, add some white to this. And then I'm gonna put some of this blending solution. And start blowing it around. So now I'm going to help it dry by using my heating gun. If you don't have one, you can just let it just air dry. I think the more you do it, the better you get. It's abstract art, so you know, have fun with it. It's not supposed to be a certain way or a certain shape or anything like that. This is where you get to be free and express yourself. That's why I like art so much. 
I'm going to put my art piece together and I found this 11 by 14 poster board from Dollar Tree. It comes in different um, colors. I am thinking of using the silver. If not, I am going to flip it over and just use the white. So we're going to start off by placing the frame back and I'm not going to paint it. I don't think I want to paint it. I may paint it gold. I just want to see what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is place the artwork back in there on the, the facing down. I'm going to place the silver cardboard or poster board down, face down. And I had to cut the end a little bit to fit it in there. And then place the backing on top. And this is what it looks like with the gold frame. Which one do you like better? The black or gold? That is so beautiful. Has anybody tried this? Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out all of my videos and hit that subscribe button. If you like what I did, hit the like button too and share it with everyone. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, please be sure to stop by and say hello. I'm at Designs by Tricia on Instagram and at I'm Tricia J.A. on Facebook.